Teofila says even though Namibia launched 5G technology a few years ago, her counterparts in Japan have already introduced 5.5G and are now looking towards launching 6G next year. She says Namibia needs to catch up because the country cannot afford to be left behind. Many of the jobs of the future do not yet exist. The young people we are teaching and lecturing in the lecture halls now might not be equipped for the jobs that will be needed in the market in five to 10 years. We are already experiencing a high demand for skills in the jobs of future technologies, emerging technologies, such as blockchain, AI, cloud engineering. Just a few weeks ago, there's been a big you know, commotion around chat GPT. Ladies and gentlemen, concepts such as virtual and augmented reality, 3D printing, now we're building houses using three-dimensional printing. Renewable energy, right now in Namibia, we're talking about green hydrogen, are becoming part of our daily vocabulary. Teofila says Namibia has a responsibility to ensure its citizens are equipped to graduate in those areas. Vice-Chancellor at NAST, Dr. Errol Naumab, says the Integrated Tertiary Software Conference is about how to transition and transform the higher education sector through digitization. Digital transformation is no longer just an operational matter. It is a question of corporate governance and legal compliance with respect to good order of governance, a matter that is vested with the fiduciary responsibility of the board. You would agree with me, it is now well established that institutions that are not engaged with digital transitioning at the highest governance structures might soon be reduced to mere irrelevance. Integrated Tertiary Software is a campus management suite that handles everything from student residency, finances and debtors, HR and payroll, among other functions. User groups include 58 higher education and TVET institutions throughout Africa, Ireland and New Zealand. The conference is being held under the theme Leveraging Revolutionary Technology to Support Digital Transformation for a Sustainable Future. How resilient, dynamic and inclusive is today's higher education.